here in this video we are actually going to discuss the formula used in integration as we have done some formulas for differentiation these are the formulas for integration now one thing you must remember here that whenever we consider the formulas for integration you need to understand that it is always the reverse process of differentiation so whatever we do in differentiation it is the reverse of that like suppose we first formula that we are going to consider here is integration of x raised to the power n dx it is a very very important formula always commonly used the value of the integration of x raised to the power n dx will be x raised to the power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus a constant quantity because it is an indefinite integration so that's why always remember whenever a indefinite integration is there a constant quantity always comes out in definite integrations there will be limits of x x is the variable lower limit of x will be written here and upper limit will be written here if nothing is written here it means it is a indefinite integration and indefinite integration the result always have a constant quantity now the condition is the value uh, n can have any uh, value of integer but it should not be minus 1 so that needs to be taken care of like take an example of x raised to the power 5 we have the value of n is 5 so as per the formula it is x raised to the power 5 plus 1 by 5 plus 1 that is x raised to the power 6 by 6 now let us check whether this is correct or not since integration is a reverse process of differentiation so it means what we have got from integration if we differentiate it then you should get x raised to the power 5 so let us see after differentiating what we get there's a d by dx of x raised to the power 6 by 6 that is 1 by 6 is here which comes out of the integration sign, uh, differentiation it is a constant quantity 1 by 6 so d by dx of x raised to the power 6 the formula for differentiation of this sort is n x n minus 1 so 6 x 6 minus 1 is 5 so 6 and 6 will cancel out it is x raised to the power 5 so what we have seen is that if we differentiate that uh, this x raised to the power 6 by 6 then we get x raised to the power 5 okay so this is the value uh, this is you can say a check of what we have got in the formula the next point integration of a constant k is also a constant quantity here integration of a constant dx always remember differentiation of a constant is always zero but integration of a constant is the constant into the variable x plus c because it is indefinite take an example integration of 7 dx 7 is a constant quantity the answer will be 7x plus c I hope this is clear uh, the one more thing here you need to understand is if you differentiate this 7x you will get 7 obviously differentiation of 7x is 7 so this is a check that this answer is correct now let us consider two variables when we integrate it with respect to x so they will be integrated separately as it was there in differentiation also like integration of x cube 3x square so we'll integrate x cube and 3x square separately now integration of a constant into a function of x so the constant comes out and integration of the function u into dx take an example here so 5 is a constant it will come out so 5 comes out integration of x raised to the power 14 dx and when we integrate it this is in the form of x raised to the power n so x raised to the power n plus 1 14 plus 1 is 15 divided by n plus 1 that is 15 so 5 3 is a 15 so x raised to the power 15 by c uh, 15 by 3 plus we consider a constant here constant is very important always remember because this is an indefinite integration say a constant must come in the result next integration of 1 by x is log x that you need to remember uh, if you remember in the previous uh, examples of differentiation the formulas of differentiation we have considered d by dx of log, log x was given by 1 by x so integration of 1 by x is log x constant will always come 
integration of ex dx it is an exponential series it's given by ex because the differentiation of ex is ex you can check in the formula for differentiation next integration of sin x dx is minus cos x because we know when we differentiate cos x we get minus sin x so that minus is cancelled out we if we take a minus sin x so integration of sin x is minus cos x you remember differentiation of sin x is cos x but integration of sin x is minus cos x a constant will always come now here instead of sin x if we have sin n x then in that case what we actually get is minus cos n x will remain same divided by differentiation of n x so differentiation of n x is x only so this is what we actually get here so sin integration of sin n x dx is minus cos n x divided by n plus c similarly integration of cos x is sin x plus c whereas differentiation of cos x was minus sin x but here integration of cos x is sin x that you need to remember because differentiation of sin x is cos x so it is the reverse now integration of cos n x is sin n x divided by differentiation of n x which is n plus a constant quantity c now in differentiation of ten tangent x is second square x so integration of second square x will be tangent x similarly differentiation of cot x is minus cos x square x so integration of cos x square x will be minus cot x then uh, differentiation of second x is second x tan x that means integration of second x tan x is second x similarly differentiation of cosec x is minus cosec x cot x so the integration of cosec x uh, cot x is minus cosec x plus the constant will always be there so these are the formula which you need to remember so remember it very properly cram it and so that you have to use it in the uh, problems for integration